Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday New Product Post. Last week was AVC, hopefully everyone had fun watching that, um, but we're back. We got more new products this week, so let's see what we've got. First up, we've got these um, motor mounts and these servo mounts, and let me show you these. This is the motor mount, and you can see it's got this footprint, it's got a hole on that end, and here is our geared motor. And as you can see, it fits nicely in there and allows you to easily connect this motor to whatever it is you're doing. Um, it gives you a nice solid platform to connect to and it connects directly into that gear head there so makes it a lot easier to use. In addition we've got these little L brackets which are the servo mounts so that's what they look like and we've got this uh, large servo motor here and as you can see they fit directly on like that. Add two of them with hardware and you've got a right angle servo mount. So you can use this with the large servo, you can use this with our continuous servo, and if you use it with the continuous servo you can make this and you know another one like the back wheels for your vehicle, things like that. Um, once again it's a nice easy mount that gives you a right angle mount for your servo. So these are really inexpensive and really useful because it's always kind of hard figuring out how to mount these into your project. So check out the servo mounts and check out the motor mount. And next up, we've got a couple new pieces from Microracks. Uh, Microracks is this stuff. It is the extrude aluminum building tool that we love so much here on the Friday New Product Posts. And we've got a couple new products from them to show you. We've got a couple of joints, we've got a connector, and then some standoff. So let's first look at these joints. Um, if we look at this joint, this is just a typical um, you know, hinge joint. And if we look at it on here, we slide it in, slide the other side in, and we've got some set screws, and that's what the joint looks like. So you can move basically 90 degrees and then 90 degrees on that side, so full 180. Next up, we've got this other joint. You can see that this actually goes all the way around. So this is a full, what do they call that? 180 degrees, but in a different way. So if you're doing like, you know, side by side like a scissor, you can use this one. But if you're doing, you know, the other, you use the other one. Pretty self-explanatory. And the stuff just fits in there with a set screw, and you've got your two different joints for movement. So that's pretty neat. In addition, we have this guy, which is called a tri-corner. And what a tri-corner allows you to do is give you a corner. So that goes in like that, this one goes in like that, and then you'd have another one down there. So you actually get a pyramid corner. So you could use this for like the corner to a cube, things like that. And it does come with set screws, which I didn't have up here because I didn't want to lose, that go directly into each one of these little holes. So hopefully this should add um, a little bit more functionality to your micro racks. And lastly, we have little PCB standoffs. And these are going to be a little hard to see on the white background. So let me hold them like that. These are just these little plastic inserts that um, come with a couple of washers. And let me show you how these work. So we've got a couple installed in a um, small section of micro racks here. They just screw into that little um, channel nut and then your PCB just snaps right in. So you can use these, let's say, on a larger beam and you can have like uh, two of them side by side and snap in a board like that. And since they, you know, kind of adjust in this track, you can adjust them to whatever size you need and that gives you a real easy way to snap in PCBs into your micro racks. So all of this together it should really make you want to buy micro racks. I mean, it gives you a lot of different options and a lot of different ways to do movement and, you know, adding PCBs and whatnot in. So check out the micro racks and check out these new additions. This is going to be a very exciting board for some of you, especially the EL wire enthusiasts. This is the El Escudo Dos. The El Escudo Dos is a revision and a very welcome upgrade to the original El Escudo board. Um, for those of you not familiar, the El Escudo is a Arduino shield that allows you to drive EL wire, EL panels, things like that. Um, we had some issues with the old board in that, you know, the triacs were burning up and, you know, just other things were happening. It wasn't the most 
robust design, let's say. Um, we also have the EL sequencer, which we've actually just gone out of stock of, and there is a revision coming of that soon. So right now, this is the only EL board that we have. A couple of the changes that we've made, which are pretty substantial, is all the triacs are now optically isolated. So you shouldn't have any issue with them blowing anymore. Um, in addition to that, we also have a variable um, voltage regulator going into, you would plug in your inverter here, and we have a vari variable voltage regulator going up to one and a half amps. So there shouldn't be any more issue with supplying enough current into that inverter. Um, for those of you not familiar with um, EL wire, let me talk a little bit about it. Um, EL wire stands for electroluminescent wire. And it's basically a wire that has some phosphorus on it and it's wrapped in this like tube. And you put a high voltage into it and it glows. Simple as that. Um, you've seen like a lot of Tron costumes and things like that. You know, Burning Man, that kind of thing. That is what EL wire is. Now the thing about EL wire is since it runs at this higher voltage, you need an inverter. An inverter simply takes one voltage and puts out a much higher voltage. That's it. Um, the inverters that we sell tend to take, I think, 3 volts or 5 volts, which you know, works well for Arduino stuff because that's what voltage is already on there. Um, it doesn't take that much current to drive. It depends on how many wires you're driving at the same time. But theoretically speaking, you could take 3 volts into an inverter, pop it out, and your wire turns on. So a board like this will allow you to control it with an Arduino and we can control, you know, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different EL wires or EL panels on this side, and we can sequence them. We can have them turn on, off, you know, blink, whatever. And so the inverter would actually be plugged into these two jacks here. So you have your Arduino, you put some power into it, write your code, power goes into it, into the inverter, out of the inverter, and then the triax will turn it on and off and send it out there. Now let's talk a little bit about opto isolation. Opto isolation is quite simply a really simple way of isolating electrically the um, output from the signal let's say. Let's just keep it simple. Um, inside an opto isolator is basically a diode and when you turn on that diode it sends a signal to a photoreceptor so you basically have like kind of like an infrared remote, right? You have an infrared remote, you press a command here, it goes over this, that's received it. There is no electrical contact between these two sides. So you can't really, um, you know, bridge that connection electrically. Therefore, there's a lot less risk for shorting something out with this. Um, that protects the triax and that is basically the protection that we didn't have on the last one that we do have on this one. So opto isolators, and the um, higher voltage regulation make this a much more robust design than before. And if you're wanting to get into EL wire, check out the Elescudo DOS. So there you have it. Another Friday new product post with a bunch of different mounts, a bunch of different like, you know, hardware prototyping stuff. And then of course, the Elescudo DOS. Um, if you've been at all frustrated in the past with the old Elescudo, you definitely owe it yourself to get the new Elescudo DOS. Um, so we'll see you again next week with even more new products. And um, thanks for watching and read the rest of the blog post for more new products.